And now making his way, Mohamed Ara Arjuai, super heavyweight, also a member of the Istanbul's, the WSB franchise. His opponent from England is big Anthony Joshua, 22 years old, a super heavyweight. Guy's built like a, a rock, truly. Anthony Joshua. Let's take a quick look at the referee for this bout. Is Rizbaev from Uzbekistan. The judges, Pogi, Kennedy, Juman, Yazo, Siagwan, and Vuang, and Mohammed Arajui from Morocco. He's had some decent success. Let's start with the 2008 Summer Olympic Games in Beijing, where he took seventh place. He lost to Dante Wilder, who ultimately, as we know, went on to get the only medal for the Americans that year. That was a bronze, now turned pro, and doing quite good at that with an impressive record already. 2009, Arjuai was in the Aiba World Championships in Milan, where he placed sixth. He's also a member, as you just noted, of the World Series of Boxing, Aiba's answer to the question of semi-pro, pro-am boxing. The new league is from Casablanca, and he boxes for Municipal Mohamedia Club in Morocco. Anthony Joshua, perhaps slightly less decorated, but nonetheless impressive, a 2000 English national champion, first place. Also, seventh place in the 2011 European Championships in Ankara. So let's see if Anthony Joshua, a relative unknown on the world scene, can come in here and upset already a, a well-seasoned world veteran in Muhammad Arjuai. Arjuai in the red corner for Morocco, Joshua in the blue corner for England. This is Castle Chalice giving you the commentary from ringside here at the Haydar Ali of Sports Complex in Baku, Azerbaijan. Arjuai, hands up high. Looks a little bit unsteady there, a little off balance, but he comes through with a whipping right hand. Anthony, Anthony Joshua, though, looks ready to stand his ground. Again, he's really built solid. Question is, does he know how to use that power and use that strength that he no doubt has in a, an effective boxing manner? Strength and power are nothing if they're not applied properly, especially in the boxing ring. A little baby uppercut by Joshua. And now Joshua starts to let his hands go a little more. Perhaps he came off to a slow start. Perhaps he's a little intimidated by the moment. He's a young kid. However, I think he's only going to start to loosen up and look better as each passing second clicks away. Off to a somewhat slow start. Joshua being patient, patiently cautious. Or shall I say cautiously patient. A wild left hand by Arjuai, and the referee's going to caution him to keep his hands down. And you're going to hear that from the crowd. They're not happy with that one. And a big left-right combination by Arjuai. Full short, and Joshua now locking horns with the big man. These are two big boys in there, 91-plus kilograms each. Left hand by Joshua and a chopping right and a, a wild uppercut from down in the trenches. A right hand by Arjuai misses its mark and back comes Joshua. So there's an interesting ebb and flow to the action here. And Joshua seems to be the, the more active aggressor. He's definitely been pushing the action, I'd say, for the most of this round. And as he continues to bring it, Arjuai seems to be going into somewhat of a shell Maybe he's felt some of the power of Joshua already, and maybe he doesn't want it. But like a cat with his back against the wall, he's not going to go down without a fight. And you can see these wily punches by Arjuai. They look a little wild. They're certainly not straight, but I'm sure they're effective when they connect. And here comes Joshua pushing Arjuai back up to the rope. So that's an interesting way for the first round to end. 
and we see the English boxer up eight to four. Not bad, not bad at all for his first time on a stage this big against a former Olympian. See some action here from the last round and pretty impressive stuff. Here comes Joshua again. Got a very nice stance. Seems to combine the best of the Eastern European style with the American style. He stands upright like the Eastern Europeans do, but not too upright. Actually seems to favor more the American style. He's in a slight crouch. He's a big heavyweight. He's well proportioned. And he seems to have the confidence that a youngster Normally wouldn't have at that age, but again at this level, there's no reason to doubt his confidence, to question it. Seems to be in better shape than his opponent, Arjulai. Let's see if he could punch with some, some real mustard if his punches pack a wallop. We haven't really seen any clean shots land. However, Arjulai seems to be keeping his distance. He may have felt something that we haven't quite ascertained yet. Those little jabs could really start to take their toll, even if they are partially blocked, if Arjuai has felt the power already of Anthony Joshua. Joshua with a chopping right hand, another one. Now he's staying on Arjuai. Arjuai does well to tie him up. And a left hand, a ripping shot to the belly by Joshua. Smart. And now Joshua at the center of the ring. What I like about Joshua particularly is he seems very well balanced and very composed in there. Again, he's got a very good boxing stance. He's well proportioned, well balanced. He throws very fundamentally sound punches, straight punches. I'd like to see him use the jab more. He seems pretty fast, pretty light on his feet. And he gets his punches out there and he gets his hands back just as quick. All the things we like to see in a boxer. I would just like to see him use that jab more, set up the big right hand. Let's see if the big Arjuai can handle the pressure when it's applied properly like that. Keep on him. Do that again, Joshua. Throw that left and then follow up with the right. Do that two times, do that three times. There you go. That sort of activity is going to really test the will of Arjuai and let us see if Joshua could really finish his man. He could be a surprise breakout star here at the 2011 World Championships if he can not only get past Arjuai and ultimately earn himself an Olympic berth, but if he could do it in style, if he could not only win, but win with pizzazz, if he could stop his opponents before the final bell tolls, well, we may have ourselves a new star on the horizon in England. Certainly a star in the making. And that's the end of round number two. And the Englishman maintains his lead. He's up 12-6. And this is a very impressive showing. I must say, it would seem like this is Anthony Joshua's fight to lose. And there's no reason why he'd want to do that. Look at the work up on the ropes. He just isn't throwing enough punches. Don't get me wrong. He's winning. He's certainly doing fine. I would like to see him stop this man. I think he has the skill set to do so. I don't think he can do it at this rate. I think he needs to throw more punches. I think he needs to throw more punches from a variety of angles. I think he needs to throw more combinations, and he needs to stay on his man like a wet blanket and put him out early. That would be a very impressive showing by Anthony Joshua, and I think he's got it in him.
Very relaxed in there. Again, the score is at least a six point, what do we say, a six point margin. 12 to six. That's right, 12 to six it is. So that's a six point margin. And if Joshua can continue to do what he's been doing, he should have no problem winning this one on points. To Arjuai's credit, he's staying in there against what is seemingly a stronger, faster, bigger, and younger opponent, perhaps a hungrier opponent. And you can't discount the fact that he is an Olympian. He's been to this dance before, the World Championships. He's boxing semi-pro in the World Series of Boxing. He's got to have learned a few th things in his travels, things that perhaps could be helpful for him to, to try and regain some confidence here in this final round. Just don't know if he's gonna have the stamina to do so. Looks like he may not have come to this tournament in the best shape of his life. Father Time catches up to us all, though. He's only 24 years old, though, Arjuai, so no excuses in the age department. Boy, I wish I was 24 years old again. And Joshua standing tall. Standing firm in the center of the ring, a big looping right hand by Josh by Arjuai, partially blocked by Joshua. And now there's some wrestling going on. And now Arjuai has he's trying to keep Joshua up on the ropes. Perhaps he could have gotten some good work done there if he could have cornered him on the ropes. But the referee has now issued a caution to him for pushing. So Joshua letting his hands go now. Some good lateral movement there. Good work to stay out of the way of that big right hand by Arjuai and come right back with his own. And Arjuai swinging wildly here. <laughs> nice work here. Two big right hands by Joshua. Push Arjuai back. He doesn't want any more of that. I don't think. And there's another left-right combination by Joshua. So Arjuai keeping his distance. And Joshua looks like he's telegraphing those punches, punches, just sort of lining them up, trying to pick his shots selectively. Again, he's too young. He looks too good to just be waiting. He ought to be throwing. He ought to try and get his man out of there. But at this point, there's only eight seconds left. It looks like he'll skate to a, a fairly easy decision win, Will Anthony Joshua. He'll make his way to London with this win. He'll also make his way to the quarterfinals tomorrow, and we hope to see a lot more progress by this young Anthony Joshua. He's certainly a, what has, what seems to be a, a, a star in the making if he keeps up that good work effort like we just saw. So congratulations. Perhaps it's premature. We'll wait for the official word, but it looks like at this point, it's pretty obvious how this one's gonna turn out. The referee's gonna check the wraps of both boxers, bring them to the center of the ring, the ring where we could get the official decision. Joshua takes it by a score of 16 to 7. He represents his country well. And we'll just take a quick look back here in that third round and watch how Joshua did it methodically, patiently, cautiously, victoriously.